What's your name? Mia. Mia, are you going fishing? Yes. You gonna catch a fish? Uh-huh. How big? Um, super big. One of life's pleasures for an adult, a dad, a granddad, mom, uncle, or an aunt, is to take a child fishing. It is not without its pitfalls. Hi, my name is Tony Paynell, co-owner of AA Worms and Optimum Baits, and a grandfather. A little preparation can transform frustrations into lifetime memories and a strong desire to wet a line again and again and again. If it is a first time experience with a young child, even with an experienced adult, it is recommended to learn about the child's expectations and probable behavior. Books such as We're Going Fishing Now What by Greg Compton are a great beginning. In a nutshell, kids are generally active and want to be independent and hands-on. This film illustrates saltwater fishing, but most situations apply equally to freshwater also. After the appropriate gear is selected for the type of fishing being done, the most important thing is bait selection. In saltwater, your choices are simple. Live bait, cut bait, or an artificial bait. Live bait may seem the best. After all, it's what fish eat but it involves a certain skill set and patience a young angler may not possess. Artificials require participation from the angler for them to wiggle appropriately for the bite. So when the young angler wants to check their bait, the action created is a good thing. Impatience, causing them to bounce the rod up and down, is a good thing. Not having to go to the bait tank every time the bait is checked by raising it out of the water is a good thing. Using live bait is better for a time down the road when the young angler is advancing their skill set and it is a natural progression. It also allows the adult supervising the opportunity to be more relaxed and enjoy the fishing experience better with the youngster. Now watch and enjoy the youngsters and oldsters enjoy their fishing experience.